is Sherry Rapp. I'm Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the City of Vidalia. This morning we're down here at the Vidalia Fire Department. Um, the Fire Chief, Johnny Lewis, put together a little fish fry for all the employees. They had some money left over from the Fiddles and Biddles festivals that they used to have and needed to be spent instead of going back into the budget. So we're going to be eating some fried fish some french fries and all kinds of good desserts today. We wanted to just let everybody know our citizens and our employees are of the utmost importance to us. That's one of the things we want to be sure that everybody just comes together and be an advocate for Vidalia every time you're talking to somebody. Hang on just a minute, we're going to get the fire chief over here to tell you a little bit about what's going on with the fire department. We're back here right now at the Vidalia Fire Department and we've got the Chief of the Vidalia Fire Department with us, Johnny Evans, and he's going to tell us just a little bit about what's going on at the Fire Department. Well, we've got uh, several things going on at this time. Uh, we're trying to get everyone qualified as EMTs. Uh, we've got over half of the Fire Department right now is qualified EMTs and the other half is in the process of doing it. Um, We've got three fire trucks, we've got one ambulance. It's a uh, basic ambulance is what it is, but it is also state of the art. We've got a, a stretcher. It, it picks up our stretcher for us so it saves our backs. So that's gonna help us in the long run, you know, guys being off for that. We try to do a little fun here. This is the second one that we've had done for a fish fry and first one that we invited all of the city employees to. First one to. I got to come to, that's right. <laughs> but, uh, if we can, we're gonna to try to do something like this once a year. If we can, just try to get the whole city employees together. And we see each other passing on the roads, but we're trying to get everybody together, you know, and uh, come look at our facility. We've got a great facility that the city's provided for us here. If you haven't seen our facility, we invite you to come out and we'll give you a tour of it. Let you see our trucks, our brand new ambulance that we've got, and the new people that we have hired here today. How many people are working in the fire department right now, Chief? We've got 24 counting our secretary. Okay. That's right. All right. And, and you do welcome people to come down here and? Anytime. We're open 24 hours a day. It'd be preferred if you could come in the hours between 8 and 5. It'd be great. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> anytime. We're open for the public. We're, that's what we're here for. And one other thing I wanted to ask you about the fire rating. What is Vidalia's fire rating? Vidalia's fire rating is a 3. Uh, don't, right now, we're, we're perfect, you know, with a 3. but. What's the highest rating you can have? It's the lowest rating you can have is really the best. The it goes from a 1 to a 10, and 1's being the best and 10 being the worst. Oh, so we're doing really good. We're doing really good. Especially for a town of 4,250. 4, 4, that's it. Yeah. That's exactly it. And it's a struggle to keep it that way, but right. everybody's on board trying to do it from the mayor, the aldermen, and all the employees. So we keep up doing that. We're in the middle of looking at a ladder truck. We haven't went through the process of actually right. doing it and finalizing it, but doing that will secure us to have a three and maybe possibly a two to, down the road. Okay, so. good deal. Well, thank you for all that you do here and thank you for the fish today, too. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Chief Johnny Evans, Vidalia Fire Department. We're back here at the Vidalia Fire Department right now. We've got Vidalia Mayor with us, Hiram Copeland. How are you doing today, Mayor? I'm doing great, Cher. How are you doing? Just fine. Good. Just wanted to let you um, say a few words about what we've got going on here today and what's going on in Vidalia. Well, as you can see, the Fire Department is putting right here for our citizens and uh, and we are getting ready to talk about a, some great events that are getting ready to take place in Vidalia. Of course, we've got the new hotel coming. We've got other projects we're working on. We're working on some manufacturing. So we've got a lot of great things coming uh, in the future in Vidalia, and we're excited about that. What we're excited about today, you know, of course, this is 9-11. We're here in memory of some of those who lost their lives uh, at the 9-11 in New York and also the other uh, Pentagon and, and, and in Pennsylvania. We remember this day, and uh, we want to honor those who we've lost through the years. Right. Good deal. One thing I wanted to um, be sure and let everybody know that um, the money for this came from the fire department. They, 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 they the funds that they are, they occurred and uh, they're paying for it this, their own selves. And so that's the reason it's such a great event. This is our employees giving back to the community. Right. And I think it's going to end up being a lot of people here today. Um, it's 11 o'clock and it's not supposed to start until 12, so we're doing pretty good. Everybody I got, I got here early, so I give me some good fat catfish. That's right, that's right. And look around at this facility. It's marvelous. And it's over here, probably. Too. It's an outstanding fire department. It really is. Complex, and along with the rest of the municipality, the police department, and, the, and of course, the city hall. Right. Well, go get you something to eat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Everybody have a great day. We're back here at the Bodega Fire Department. Right now, we've got one of our aldermen, Ricky Knapp, with us. Um, he is going to be giving a 
invocation this morning for the dinner um, when it gets started at 12 today. But I wanted to just ask you just a question or two. Ricky, what, what do you have going on in Vidalia what, as an alderman? What, what's happening? Well, uh, let me start out with saying I've been an alderman since uh, 1992. So the end of this term will be uh, 24 years wow. I've actually served. It's been a privilege and, and an honor. Um, it's a great city. It is. It really and, is. Uh, you know, it's not a hard task. Uh, everything seems to work well within the city. There's been a f some few major decisions we've had to uh, work through. Right. But uh, I think we got a good board that works together and uh, we kind of go over all of our options before we make the major decisions. So, right. Uh, now, one thing about it, it's. Um, it's not always a yes all the way across the board. No, Y'all talk to each other, uh -huh. you argue with each other, right. and you figure out what's best for the city. Right. Without your personal beliefs getting right. involved in it. It's exactly. Like, it's what's, what's got to be done. Uh huh. We may not all agree all the time, but there is one aspect we all all do agree on, and that's uh, how great a place for day is to live. And we all strive for that goal and doing what we can to uh, to make it a better place. and. A place where people can be proud of saying we're from the day and, and uh, right. those that aren't familiar with it, you know, maybe they'll uh, get interested in finding out more about us, possibly moving uh, to, to live here or even to move a business here. Right. Well, it's real interesting because as we travel um, around the United States with the various um, entities that they're involved in and mm -hmm. me going as far as marketing, when you start telling people what you've got going on in Vidalia with the port, the broadband, the new complexes, the rec complex, the riverfront, right. uh -huh. um, three Fortune 500 companies, they're mm -hmm. like, you mean it's 42,000 people? No, it's 4,250 right. people uh -huh. approximately. They are amazed at what is happening here. It, uh -huh. it's, everybody outside of the city is um, more impressed than the people in the right. city are at times. You can get a lot of the big town luxuries uh, that some of the aspects you only find in a big town, you can find a lot of that here in this small town and still get the... Which is a big draw it for is. businesses, uh -huh. industries, and people that want to retire here, or people that want to come to business here. Right, So, right. Tell us about the uh, recycling. I know that you're over that portion of that. Right, uh, Jim Smith uh, approached me, I guess, almost two years ago now, uh, asking about somebody to head up the recycling program here in Vidalia. They were getting it kicked off in Adams and Natchez right. and they wanted our participation. So at that time we, we thought it would be best to do it as a volunteer only program. So we actually ordered uh, 500 containers on wheels um, that we would ask each resident to volunteer for participation to call a number we would deliver them a container right. uh, with the instructions of what needs to go in and what, you know, what is recyclable and what's not recyclable. So they were going to uh, fill the containers and just roll them to the street on Wednesday morning. And we would take one truck and be able to cover the whole town, you know, within several hours. And uh, so far, it's, it's been real, pretty good. I think we're averaging about a ton a week. Uh, we'd like to to see it grow right. to, to get the, our uh, volume up and the, of course the number of participations needs to come up too. Well I mean it helps literally and I know this sounds rather 60s but it helps save the planet. It does. You know when you're it recycling does. all this thing uh -huh. and it seemed to me how much paper and plastic I have. Right. I find it fun and rewarding myself at my home to see what's recyclable, what's not, uh, what I can put in there, what I can't and uh, I'm kind of like the recycle Nazi yeah. at my home, I'll say, oh no, don't put that in the trash. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> go back through the trash or something. Right, right. Out. Well, Ricky, uh, anything else you can tell us happening in Bedellium? No, uh, I guess the, the paper is keeping us up to date on uh, all of our, up to date, our ongoing projects. Right. Um, well, you're doing a good job and I appreciate you very well, much. Well, thanks. Thank you so much for being here with us today, too. Appreciate you. Okay. All right. I want to be sure and let everybody know, too, that um, you can go to the City of Adelia website, City of Adelia Facebook page, City of Adelia LinkedIn, and City of Adelia Twitter. 
and we also have um, our YouTube, which is where this is going to be put on as well, as well as some television stations around the area. But stay informed. See what's going on in your community. Be an advocate for Vidalia. We've got people coming in here on the sly, looking around, seeing what they can bring in. We need to present a very united front on We Love Vidalia as much as everybody else does. Thank you so much.